Alright, good morning, afternoon or evening everyone. Today I'm going to be playing the new German Tier 8 Premium Light Cruiser or Super Light Cruiser. The Wiesbaden, I think. Uh, probably. If there are any Germans in the comments, let me know how you say Wiesbaden. But I think that's how you say it. Anyway, so this ship, let's start off with the price, is going to be available. Okay, okay. So they wrote a paragraph here. Let me read this. It is available in the German on the banks of the Rhine premium containers. Containers have a 2.5% chance of dropping the Wiesbaden at 750 doubloons each. But can be purchased at a discount in consecutive bundles in the armory. If all consecutive bundles are purchased at a total of 23,975 doubloons, the Wiesbaden will be available with a flag. 10 point captain and a 30 day boost for one credit. Ooh. Okay, well, <laughs> let's start off by saying is the ship worth it or not? Well, probably not, guys. I mean, you have to, sp uh, it says you have to spend 23,000 doubloons for it for a tier 8 cruiser. I mean, that's already overdose. But you can gamble in containers, but I don't think that's a good idea. Listen, first of all, with this ship, um, if it was available for normal currency, well, we're gonna find out. I'll tell you my actual thoughts about the ship at the end of the video. But this is more about the actual price of the ship. I don't know why they charge containers or random containers for it. I don't know. That's really weird. But hey, what can you do? Especially when mines is available for just straight up purchase. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna be comparing the ship quite a lot to mines actually, I think. Maybe not. Uh, the reason is because it has the same reload and it kind of functions, I guess, similar, except it doesn't. So maybe we shouldn't compare it to, uh, uh, mines. Anyway, whatever, let's just get into the ship and then see if it's actually worth it or not, whatever. But realistically, according to the price, I don't think it's ever worth gambling or spending 23,000 doubloons for a tier 8 premium. Anyway, so let's take a look at the armor layout for the Wiesbaden. We have a 16mm nose armor. We've got, uh... 16 millimeter center deck armor 16 millimeter aft 25 side plate and a 80 millimeter side citadel plate or something no no it's not the citadel just a side plate you do have a turtle back citadel with 32 millimeters which is pretty interesting but the slope doesn't look that good on it which means i think you can get sh like shafted pretty easily in it so just be careful anyway um yeah, so for my commander build, I'm going to be running Gunther Luchens. I'm going to be running Grease the Gears, Consumable Specialist, Last Stand, Demo Expert, Heavy HE and Sap Shells, Adrenaline Rush, and then Superintendent, Survivability Expert, and Concealment Expert. For equipment, I'm going to be running Concealment System Mod 1, Prop Mod 1, Aiming System Mod 1, Hydro Search Mod 1, and Main Armaments Mod 1. Um, this is a super light cruiser, by the way. For the camouflage, um, I'm gonna use the stock camo, which looks actually probably worse than the ship without the camo, honestly. Because the ship without the camo actually has a two-tone paint scheme. But with the perma, you go to one tone. It's okay. And then alternate, it's just darker, I guess. Look, whatever, man. These camos have been getting pretty sad, man. Honestly. They could... Listen, it's a fake ship at the end of the day, right? So it's not a real ship. So why not design a camouflage that's similar to something like mine? Something simple, you know, like with the tiger thing. Or I don't know, whatever. But I don't design it, so it is what it is. Uh, for my ship characteristics, I'll cover them right now. If you want to skip straight to gameplay, you totally can. But for survivability, we have 37,700 HP with 10% torpedo protection damage reduction. For reload time on the main guns, we have 6 seconds. They're 128 millimeters, But they do pen 32 because they're German 128s. Now, the German 128s are some of my favorite guns in the game. At least on the Z46. But the Z46 is a tier higher destroyer. Tech tree. And it is a pretty good ship. And the reload is like... 3 point something. So, it's half. Okay, you get half the guns, guys. But remember, you're playing at... I don't know, man. But listen, you get 15 kilometer range on this, which isn't too bad, I guess. Torpedoes, 
This is pretty interesting. You get 68 second reload, which is quite fast. You get 6 torps per side. Um, 14k damage each, 65 knots, 1.3 kilometers. Of course, you can buff those if you want. Depth charges. It's ship base, sadly. 2.4k, whatever. A defense. Whatever, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maneuverability. 33.6 knots. So, sadly, it also goes very slow. Um, at 33.6 knots, is that slower than mines? It is actually the exact same speed as mines. Um, but you do get better uh, turning circle radius and rather shift time. Uh, and concealment, you actually get 8.5, which is quite good. Which means it's useless taking top grade gunner, honestly. It's not really a point here for this one. Um, but something that's important to note about this ship, it does get smoke screens. They only last 69 seconds and they reload 158 seconds. They're German smokes, which means they're pretty bad overall. But... At least you do get smoke. You do not get a heal. Do not get a speed boost or anything. Well, why would you expect it to get a heal or speed boost? I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, San Diego gets a, San Diego gets a heal. You know, but this gets smoke, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, so that is the Visba then. Uh, import. So let's take a look at it, the gameplay. All right. So here we are on Sleeping Giant, top tier. No, actually, we're the only tier eight ship in this match, guys. So it's. Pretty inch Dude, we're the only tier 8 in the match. Anyway, so what I want to say about the Viz Baden is, before we actually get to the gameplay, is... um, To me, the 6 second reload is a bit unfortunate. Because to me, I just think of Mines instantly. Because Mines also has a 6 second reload. Except Mines has 152s. Mines has more gun range. Right? And more HP. But Mines doesn't get smoke. But Mines is also a really strong ship in general. Now, what we're looking at with this one is a stealthier version, I guess. With 128, okay. Um, more importantly, you do have torpedo stealth torps by one kilometer, which is okay, sure. But they don't do much damage. But, uh, yeah, there they are. You do still get the... Oh, you actually get 5km hydro. Not 6km hydro, which is interesting. I assume that's because of your smoke firing? No. So this is interesting. Your detection in smoke after firing guns in smoke is 4.5, but you have 5 hydro. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, I wish it was 6 hydro, but I think that would be a bit excessive. You have 1.5 kilometers of self firing when DDs are rushing you or something. I don't know. But anyway. I think the ship looks cool. I think it looks cool. It looks... The proportions are pretty nice, I think. But anyway. Let's skip straight to gameplay. No way. Did we get a shot on the Schultz? No. Listen, guys. Honestly, this flank doesn't seem really playable for me. Now, we at the end of the day, we are a tier 8 cruiser in a tier 10 match. But this is kind of the matchmaking you're going to be expecting, I guess. So we kind of have to figure out how we're going to play into this. Maybe what I'm thinking is we go farm the Kremlin and Min. I don't think we can play 1-2 line here at all, actually. Maybe at most we should have played D1, but the problem is the submarine's there, and the Schultz is there. And if we get Schultzed, we're dead. <laughs> For sure, by the way. Or submarine rushed. Which is totally possible, by the way. It's totally possible. So I'm actually gonna go mid. Uh, something sad to see about the Visbaden is the top speed, I think, is a, a bit sad. Because to me, what this is, it look, this ship reminds me of something like a German destroyer, but in a cruiser slot, right? Um, or at least that's what it's trying to be. Um, at least in the initial impressions I have of it. Um, because it does, at the end of the day, have destroyer guns. And it does have... Oh, our, our submarine's dead. First blood. It's okay, though. Not really. But it's okay, though. Anyway, so... So it is kind of like a Zed-type destroyer in a cruiser slot. Because of the consumable layout and everything. So I'm quite sad the top speed is low. I'm sure this ship would dominate against tier 6s for sure. Uh, but against tier 10s, I mean, I don't I don't see it like doing maybe as good as something like a mines, I think. But maybe I'm wrong. So let's uh, try here. So 7% fire chance is nice. Now you do have low alpha, I think, on the HE shells because they're German. Looks like Kremlin's just ignoring me at this point. No, he's gonna switch to me again, so we're actually gonna take a smoke screen. I don't think we have anyone to really spot them, though. Sadly, he did stop in the open, too, so we're not actually gonna land any torps on him. 
What I can do is reverse out of the smoke, I guess. To spot him. We'll see. I don't know if I should hide or not yet. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Let's use it just in case. We're gonna reverse all of the smoke, which means we might get spotted. Let's see. No. Doesn't seem like he's switching back to me. No, he's not. Perfect. Which means we can go back into the smoke. We want to stay in the smoke because there are going to be wooden loop dive bombers or bombers in general coming towards me. I don't want to die to those. Um, the smoke is a nice factor for sure. And I do like the torps to be fair. I mean, I think the torps are pretty cool to have. Just as a gimmick in general, I guess. Um, especially since we are lacking in other things. Like for example, armor. Well, armor doesn't really matter. Like listen, having 16mm armor at tier 8. Um, isn't gonna really affect you. Because most battleships overmatch uh, the 25 you get on mines anyway. But there are some lower like caliber battleships with the 356s that are now going to overmatch you anyway. So you kind of just have to treat all battleships as overmatching ships from now on. Which is okay. I mean, we've had ships like Atlanta before, San Diego at the tier as well. So it's not like it's anything new to have ships like this. Um, but it's just something you need to keep in mind when you're playing this, for example. I think having the smoke is a very nice tool, honestly. But, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't seem like the ship needs anything else. I don't think it's weak or something. I think mostly my concern is the price of the ship. I think the price is a bit weird. Like, having it... Oh! I'm dead. Okay, I live. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna attempt to go dark, because at 8.5 I go dark, which is nice, having really stealthy concealment, sure. Um... Honestly, though, uh, the, my main concern about the ship isn't actually the ship itself. I think, honestly, it's the price of the ship. The price is just... <sighs> excessive? I don't know. It, it's containers, right? So it's random. You could get it cheaper than, for example, any other tier 8 premium. Or you could get it more expensive depending on your luck. I think that's just a bit cringe in general. Um, it's also like if you want to straight up buy the ship, you have to spend a lot of <laughs> doubloons. 23,000 doubloons is quite a lot. So, I don't think that's entirely fair. Um, I know you get like 30 days of premium or something, and you get... And you get the 10 point commander or whatever, but... I don't think that should make a difference, I mean, realistically. 23,000 doubloons is 23,000 doubloons, that's twice the price of mines, guys. And at the end of the day, is this twice the ship mines is? I don't think it's twice the ship mines is. So, I don't know. Sadly, the Colombo did smoke up, and it's kind of GG. I do want to play a second game in the Visbaden and showcase both. As you know, I try to do live commentary on all my YouTube videos, guys. So I try to showcase ships in the matches I get them. I don't try to hand-pick games, realistically, most of the time. Um, sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. And in this case, I want to try to showcase it with live commentary and actually showcase the games. So... This was actually my first game here. And we got 91,000 damage-ish. That hurts. You know, it's something that's kind of comparable, I guess, thinking about it just now. It's uh, Harbin, right? Harbin would be very comparable to this ship. But uh, Harbin has less gun pen. But Harbin also has better torps in general. Farm with the Howden Leo here. If we can set a fire at 60 second duration, which is nice. Of course, on broadsides, you can also use the AP, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Because they if German AP or whatever. 3.1k alpha. But I don't really recall this game. We had like a lot of AP, AP targets here. That's okay, though. We still got 106k damage. Um, something about Harbin you need to know is Harbin actually has a heal, though, with smoke. Uh, it doesn't get Hydro, though. So this is kind of nice that you do get Hydro on a Smoke Cruiser here. It makes it less likely that you're gonna eat Torps. Let's try to go for the Seijong here. I mean, the game's over. We're gonna win for sure, which is nice. 
But obviously trying to squeeze out some extra damage is always the play, I think, at the end of the game like this. Now we are trying to get all guns on target, which means we might end up eating one Torp here. No, we don't. Okay. It does remind me a bit of the um, Pan-Asian Cruisers. But also at the same time, it has... It, it, it kind of like has better guns than the Pan-Asian Cruisers in a way, because of the improved penetration. But at the same time, Pan-Asian Cruisers, I believe, reload faster. But also... But also you get worse torps, and you don't get heals on this one. So your HP is your HP in this one. 111,000 damage? I think that's pretty okay. Um, but that's pretty much it for the first game. I don't really see... Maybe we can get maybe we can get the Hayati, but that's kind of it. Um, I'll just skip to the score screen unless we kill the Hayati. All right, Hayati spotted. Let's go. Do I actually get some damage on him? If we can get any damage on him, it would be nice. But I don't think we're gonna get much. Let's see, no kill, sadly we didn't get the kill, but it's okay, got 117k damage, let's take a look at the score I guess, but um, that was a good match, honestly, bottom tier matchmaking, that was a kind of good match, honestly, for the Visbaden, at least bottom tier, 117k damage, 2 kills, uh, 337 shell hits, and a torp hit, you know, 7 fires, okay, Team score, we got uh, top of the team, which is quite good. I'm going to actually compliment my Colombo there. Did pretty well as well. Um, for detailed report, we got a 14k on the Howden, 5k on the Sejong, 77k on the Kremlin, which is quite good. 13k on the Colombo and 5k on the Hayati. And then credits and XP screen, this is what we got. Uh, I have premium time, but I didn't put any like extra boosters. I do have the 20% for personal merits though. Um, yeah, that's the first game. I do want to actually play another game for you guys, honestly. Because normally I don't do that. Well, sometimes I do. For San Diego, I did two games, I believe. Some some ships I do two games, some ships I don't. It, I guess it really depends on my mood. But um, I think it's best I showcase another match for you guys. So, yeah, I'll just skip to the match. Alright, so here, here we are on the Atlantic on our second game. In the Wiesbaden! Uh, we're not running DFA here, but it is a CV game this time. So we're going to have additional threats to our HP pool, such as Kaga Torps. I'm a bit worried about those. But yeah, let's skip straight to the match. Alright, so we're getting harassed by the CV instantly, guys. It's over, man. It's over, man. It may be let over, guys. Anyway, the CV missed, but sadly, because of his spotting, we did get my damage. I mean, 5,000 damage isn't the worst. Hopefully, our Shakaku that leaves me a fighter here before he flies off the screen. I don't think so, though. Um, let's get closer to this rock. This is actually a good spawn location for me. Now, we do have to take on the CV pretty early on, but if we get to this island position, I think we should be relatively okay. It depends. It will see. I hope so though. Especially the gun the gun range is around 15 kilometers, which isn't too good. For a super light cruiser, 15 kilometers is quite good. Um, so we'll see what we can do. Something I wanna mention by the way, I think against tier sixes, I think the ship would actually like walk over tier sixes. But I mean what tier eight doesn't really walk over tier sixes, right? Most of them end up actually just walking over the tier sixes. But I think the ship would actually smash against, for example, something like uh, New Mexico or even Colorados in general. If I can actually get a fight against this Duke of York here, for example, you'll see, I think, I think I'm think i going to be able to smash him down very fast. Hopefully. Maybe we should try the AP out. I'm actually going to get... Well, I don't know if... I, I, there's no point in using the Torps because no one's actually in Torp range. Hopefully we do get some spotting. Oh, 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 I'm leaking out of the smoke screen. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
No, I'm not. Nice. Close call. I'm actually gonna Hydro here for Brindisi Torps, because I am a bit concerned. Anyway. I do want to try an AP on Broadside, guys, but I do feel the HE is actually pretty good. The fire chance seems pretty consistent. Now, we don't only have 18 seconds left on our smoke screen. So, sadly, it does seem to be running out instantly. We didn't really get much smoke time. And as you can see, the cooldown is really long. That is a German smoke screen for you guys. It's quite actually awful. Even on the German DDs. It's quite awful in general. But... On something like Z46, it's it's okay because you can at least open water. And this one I don't want to try to open water against something like Brindisi, Uami, whatever. We did land a Torp, which is nice. I don't know on what. So I'm glad I used them accidentally, I guess. Well, not accidentally, but like... We weren't going to use them because we said nothing was in range. I think I did hit the Rook right with the Torp, which is good. Rook Rike, Rook Rike is going to be a kind of a big threat this match. As you can see, we're smashing into the Duke of York. I'm gonna get smashed here, actually. Let's see. One minute for smoke screen. By the way, if you really want to play the ship super cringe-like, if you really want, you could play with smoke divs. I think, I'm sure the ship would be extremely strong in smoke divs. Most ships are. But something like mines, for example, is really good in something like a smoke div. Where it gets smoked up, you can pretty much smash people. And I'm pretty sure mines also has faster shells, to be fair. So, like to range, so it's probably a bit easier. And you get more gun range. The only problem with mines compared to this for smoke gameplay is uh, your smoke firing penalty is quite bad on the on the mines. I honestly think I should go B here and um, intercept these battleships from B. Because in this position, I'm not really going to be able to shoot much. So let's just turn go towards B. The only problem with going towards B here, I feel, is the enemy CV. But maybe we can try to warp out the Iwami or something. Um, yeah, I mean, they can steer sixes. I don't see what, what they're going to do to you guys. You have smoke and, and stuff, like... You're gonna be able to dominate over them. Now, I, I, I honestly, honestly, I think this ship's actually pretty good. I think. Jokes aside, I think this ship is actually pretty good. It feels really comfortable to play. Now, I really love Z46. I think it's probably one of my favorite ships in the game. Not my favorite, but it's definitely up there. And this kind of reminds me of Z46 in a way, but a tier lower. Um, of course, you don't have the speed boost, and you have more guns, sure, but you have worse reloads, so it's kind of whatever. Um, Honestly, though, Z46 is one of my favorite ships in the game. And this kind of just reminds me of that. Which I'm a bit happy about in general. Because I kind of love the German 128mm guns. I think they're just wonderful. Because of their improved HE pen characteristics. Now, I know the HE isn't as good like alpha-wise. But getting pen like that, it's good anyway. Oh, I'm plane spotted for one second. Is he going to death strike me because of it? Maybe. To be honest. No, he missed me. We do get our Lugin, so we get a reload buff, which is really nice, by the way. I think that's awesome. Definitely recommend running Lugins if you're going to play this ship. Looks like we're going to land a Torp or two. The AP, as you can see, is doing 4 5,000 per salvo. Really good damage. Um, now he's going to slightly angle. And we, of course, do not have improved pen angles, so we're going to switch to HE. And he took a Torp. He might actually take a second Torp. I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast. There's a lot happening. Um, we are also needing... We need to Hydro here because Iwami actually has... Um, what's it called? Uh, 20km Torps. So, we want to make sure we Hydro. So, 118,000 damage. Looks like Iwami DCP'd my Flood. Yeah. Someone let him on fire again, but that's okay. Our smoke's gonna run out, but I hopefully we kill the Awami before this happens. Brindis is coming north, but I think we should actually... Oh, I was gonna say go south, but this is a problem. The Torio's a problem. It can't sap Citadel outside? No, it can't. It can't, because we have an internal Citadel. Honestly, I should probably just run away and go on dark here. But there's planes, but they're gonna just die. That's okay. I think we're gonna live. Uh, we'll see. I don't think we'll just die. Anyway, he's gonna shoot the Zara. The Zara's 2k HP, so he wants to finish the low HP target for sure. 
Yeah, there you go. See, so we get to live forever. Zara smoked up, and Zara lives. Wow, that would be an angry Latorio if it was me, because we left a Zara on one HP. Anyway, we're up to 130,000 damage. Because, well, for one, the game lasted longer. It's already lasted nine minutes, I think. It's quite good. And we're also playing against lower tier ships. We're not playing against tier uh, sixes here. This is mid tier matchmaking. So imagine the power you have when you play against tier sixes. Listen, like I said at the start of the video, guys, I mean, the, the ship looks good. It's a good ship, I think. But the, pro the main problem with the ship isn't really the strength of the ship. I think it's the price point of the ship. The It's just... It's just too expensive, right? It's just too expensive. Now you could tell me, oh, like 23,000 doubloons only if you don't buy the containers, sure. And if you get lucky in the containers, you can get it really quickly, right? Okay, sure. But what if you get unlucky in the containers and you spend 23,000 doubloons and you don't get in or something? I don't know. Or 22,000 doubloons, you don't get. I don't know. It's random RNG chance. I just don't like that concept in general. Um, and, it, and it doesn't say if it's going to be available in the future for normal purchase or not. In the message we got from the CC guy. It doesn't say no. Um, so so I, don't, I don't really know if you should. I don't, I don't think you should buy it at the end of the day. Because it's available for a weird, car, for a weird type of currency. Um, what I can say is, I mean, if you're rich as fuck in real life and you're like a giga gigillionaire, um, and you want to buy the Visbaden just because you want to have it, I mean, go ahead. But if that's true, can you also give me like a, a hundred subs on Twitch per month? Thanks. I would appreciate it. But <laughs> not seriously, man. Like, listen, listen, if you're rich, guys, I don't, listen, it doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter if I say it's too expensive or not. Because you don't care, right? At the end of the day, you just want to play the ship, right? Okay, whatever. And that's all, you know, that's your right. You know? But this, this when I when I say you shouldn't buy it with containers or, or doubloons, I'm normally referring to people, for example, maybe maybe in a financial situation like me, where I cannot, for like, let's say I wasn't at a CC, I'd have to honestly have to think about buying the ship or not. Like, do I want to actually spend money to buy a trade premium? But like a lot of money to buy a tier 8 premium or no, you know? Um, normally when I when I say my recommendations or not, I'm kind of talking to those people. Um, in this case, I don't really recommend. If you if, if you have to pick between food, guys, or Visvaden for the week, or your rent or Visvaden, I mean, I, I don't... I mean, you shouldn't pick Visvaden, guys. You should pick your rent, you know, whatever. I'm sure you guys are smart enough to do that. Listen, I'm just a bit sad that it's available for such a bad way, I think. Because honestly, it could have been available for just 10,000 doubloons and whatever. And the same price as, for example, something like San Diego or... Is San Diego's for sale? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Or like mines or something. I'm gonna let my teammates go first because <laughs> there's a fucking, like, group right there, so I don't wanna die. I also smoked for nothing. I wasted a complete smoke screen here, so that's on me. We have... What are those, man? I have Hydro available, but I, I, don't, I just don't expect Torps coming from there, I guess. Oops. That actually fucked me over here. That Jaeger played really well. I mean, he actually torped my teammates, not me, but still. That killed me. Which is okay. Uh, let's try to AP the Ruprag before we die. Now he will secondary us and we will die. We got an A defense expert as well without the FA, which is quite interesting. And we seem to have lived for a se split second or two. I'm gonna try launch Torps on the Duke. I'm gonna try turn into the smoke, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead here, guys, with his HE. For sure. It's okay. You know what's funny is the ship we were supposed to dominate actually ended up killing us at the end, but it's okay. We still got 161k damage, and the game is pretty much over. The Duke of York died anyway, so we didn't really get to miss too much of a farm on him. And there is one ship left, the Jaeger, but I don't think we could get too much damage on him anyway. So 161k damage, pretty good indeed. Um, I think we should uh, take a look at the score. Alright, so we ended up doing 161,000 damage, 360 shell hits, 3 kills, 38 plane kills, 2, two kills, oh sorry, 3, three torpids, and uh, nine, fi 9 fires. We got a defense expert as our achievement, 
We also got top of the team once again, guys, which is probably quite good, actually. Detailed report. 29k on Ruprak, 22k on Latorio. 55k on Iwami. We got 47k on Duke of York and 6k on Brindisi and 38 plane kills from Lakago. Uh, most of the damage is actually from HE with fires. Plus, we also got some AP damage. Credits and XP. This is what we got. Anyway, for my commander build once again, I believe this is probably the best build you can run, I think. Maybe you can remove uh, Consumable Specialists and Grease the Gears. You could take um, Fill the Tubes for quicker to preload, but I think overall this is quite good. Playing Last Stand, Consumable Specialist, Grease the Gears, Demo Expert, uh, Heavy HE and Sap Shells, AR, Adrenaline Rush, Superintendent and Survivability Expert and Concealment Expert. Equipment, I'm running... Concealment System Mod 1, Prop Mod 1, Aiming System Mod 1, Hydro Search Mod 1, and Main Armaments Mod 1. Um, in terms of what I think of the ship, I mean, of course, I think the ship is really strong. I think it's a good ship in general. The only downside to the ship is the price of the ship, I think. Uh, the price of the ship is quite expensive. Um, and or RNG. So, it's really up to you what you want to do, if you want to spend your money or not, or your doubloons on it or not. Personally, if if you're rich as fuck, you do what you want. If you're not, well, you should probably think about it a bit. Because it is a bit expensive. Alternatively, if you don't want to buy the Visbaden, guys, honestly. If we were to look at tier 8 cruisers in general, something that's similar to me in my mind would be Harbin. Um, Harbin has a 5.2 second reload, actually, with 5 guns. You do not have improved HE pen. You also have 14.5 range. Um, but... Uh, what you actually do get is slightly higher fire chance and most importantly you get the heal You also get better torpedoes than the Visbaden. Okay, so you do get uh, Differences, okay, there are differences But um, if you don't have to spend full money for a Visbaden and you want a free one There's a Harbin available, which has a very similar role by the way You just don't have the improved HE pen, which could actually be an issue for most of you There's also San Diego which is, I mean, it's okay. It doesn't have smoke, though, you have to keep in mind. But it does have a heal and reload booster, which is quite nice. And, of course, San Diego is a pretty good ship in general. And one more ship you could actually compare if it's bad into, even though it doesn't have smoke, is Mines. I think Mines is still really good. It has a 6-second reload, 17.5 kilometer gun range. It's not really a similar playstyle in general. Of course, it's more gun-focused than uh, kind of like in the middle. Um, but... There it is. Also, one more ship. One more ship, sorry guys, that I want to tell you guys about. This is the Z46. I told you about the Z46. Z46 can have a 3.5 second reload. Plus, you can spec into the guns a bit more from the commander build. I don't have a commander build on it right now. But, of course, you have a lot of other advantages, such as concealment, better torp range. Um, you know. No Citadel. <laughs> Speed boost. Better concealment. Better maneuvering, etc. So yeah, you have options, guys. It's not just the Visbaden. So, listen, I mean, it's a good ship. It's a really good ship, honestly. But the price of the ship just makes it maybe just not really something I can recommend for you guys. For most of you, at least on my end. Because it just, I think it's just a bit unfair. Um, but that's pretty much the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the Visbaden. Let me know if you're going to get it or not, etc. Uh, and also let me know what chip you want to see featured on the channel in the future, etc. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and a comment. It'll help out the channel grow very quickly, so I would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Big fan.